Saturday already. Um, I kind of lost track of reality in a bookstore. That's okay. That's okay. If you are new here to the channel, welcome. You're not going to get book hauls like this very often. If you're not new to the channel, you know what kind of year 2024 has been for me. Um, had a terrible start to the year mental health wise, then got the eye of a hurricane come through damages and power outages and still no good internet. It's been a hell of a year, you guys, just a hell of a year. And this I've been kind of planning to do for a little while. Um, I knew I wanted to do like one big book haul for myself. Uh, my husband did fund this book haul, so it is a gift. Um, but I wanted to, by myself, go in the bookstore and put whatever I wanted in the basket. And so that time was today. We went and had a lovely breakfast. And then we headed to Barnes & Noble and got there as soon as they opened. So there was like nobody else in there. My favorite time to shop at a Barnes & Noble. And I have two giant bags full of books. I did purchase all of them. None of this was gifted. So I do have a Barnes and Nobles paid membership, which means that I saved 20% or something like that. Plus had a bunch of points for money off and accrued a bunch more. So that to me is a benefit. And really the reason why I went to Barnes and Noble rather than say going to like a used bookstore where I could have got more bang for my buck. I digress. I don't have to explain all of that to you. Look at my book haul. Um, let's start at the top and just work our way down. A lot of these have been on my TBR for a while and I did not own them. And so that was fixed today. And this top series is a big one that I've wanted to read for a while. And that is Emily Wilde's series. It is. The first one is the Encyclopedia of Fairies. And the second one is the Map of Other Lands. From what I understand, Emily Wilde is a college professor and her specialty is on fairies. And she moves to this very small Scottish town where she must befriend the many interesting characters. And I'm just very excited about that series. It may be one of the first ones I get to. This haul of books will, other than say pre-orders for things, get me well into next year. What else do we have? Ah yes, this is kind of the one dark romance that I really wanted to get. Heard really good things about it. It's called Lights Out. A dark romance like you've never seen before. Can you handle the ride? I don't know. But it's been talked about a lot on my social media, and I wanted to give it a try. This one I walked in there and I didn't know anything about. But I really, really liked the um, artwork. It's called A Curious, or Just Curious Tides by Pascala LaSalle. And it has a comparison to Chloe Gong on the back. Big Chloe Gong fan. And it has to do with... Um, just it looks like different gods of tides and things like that. I really like the note at the front a lot. It said this one, if you'll allow me a moment of selfishness is for me, for the teenage me who dared to dream, for the 20 year old me who abandoned hope, for the 30 year old me who, who tried again and soared. Very excited about this. There does appear to be a book two out already. I didn't grab book two for this one just because I had not heard much about it. So if I don't like it, I've only invested the one book. 
Ah, this was a fun one that I've seen a lot of people talking about. And that's dating dismemberment. It's like a monster romance. Looked fun. I think it's a little on the YA side. That's okay with me. As you know, I'm not scared of YA. Okay, these go together. <clears throat> and that is something that's been on my TBR for a long time that I really wanted to read. What the River Knows. Actually, no. Where's the second book? Ah, that's not the one that goes with this. It's somewhere in here. I'll tell you when we get to the second book on this one. What the River Knows is the first book. And then What the Library. Give me a second here. Because I want to show them to you in collection. I think it's just right here. Oh, that's something else. <laughs> Hold on. Here it is. Haha. <laughs> I knew I bought them both. Where the Library Hides. Now these two are um, really beautiful setting from what I understand. It is um, 1800s Buenos Aires. It goes to ancient Egypt. Like, I've heard incredible things about that series. Let's finish up this orange bag before we move on to the second bag. You know I had to do it. I had to get that copy. It is stunning. It is fucking stunning. I am obsessed. I, I couldn't not get this copy. It has one of my favorite quotes of the year. It's not my book of the year. I told you it's high. It's in my top five of the year. I'm going to do a video on my top five books of 2024. Um, this is high in there. Probably number three, if I'm not being honest. But I love this quote. But if fairies and monsters were real, so were the women who defeated them. And that is something to remember right now. I am obsessed with that. This looked so good. The Road of Bones. It's book one in the Ashen series. It was in the fantasy section. Let them think us lambs when truly we are wolves. And it is Norse fantasy. Scylla Nordvig is running for her life is the first line. And I cannot wait to dive into that. We have Voyage of the Damned. Now, this one, I believe, is very piratey. From what I understand, we have a ship full of princes and princesses, and they must, in fact, figure out if they're going to live or die on this ship. And it just looked really, really freaking good. Bag number two. There's only got two more bags, or two more books, because I was slowly picking them out of there. The Striker by Anna Huang. You know I love a hockey romance. This is a soccer romance. I haven't read a lot of soccer romances. Is that going to block me? Not really. I haven't read a lot of soccer romances. So uh, I wanted to go there. And to finish it all off, I almost got the hardback. But I'm going to be real with you. I'm running a little low on hardback space. So we went with the paperback on When the Moon Hatched. I am beyond excited to read this. I have heard incredible things. I have heard it is quite a beefy take on. Like you want to really be committed when you jump into that one. And so I plan to read it very soon. Um, holidays this year are looking pretty casual everybody's just kind of got their own thing going on and that's okay. I cannot wait to spend my Christmas morning wrapped up in a blanket in my recliner with one of these gorgeous books. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think yeah, eleven beautiful books. Can I hold them all? I bet you I can. Eleven beautiful books for the a magnificent price of $230. So I think I did really, really well there. And uh, yeah, that is easily the next few months of reading for me. So thanks guys for coming to this unhinged book haul. 
I love you and I appreciate you. You guys do help encourage me and make this happen. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.